new studio, and a side of Fat Cat. Andrew Gregory. Growing up on the water with fishing in their blood, Matt Airy and Brian Thrift have spent the last 10 years competing against the biggest names in professional bass fishing. Their success has landed them ranked among the top anglers in the world. If you're looking to become a better angler, then this show has all the answers. Join us and follow along to get actionable tips, tactics, and tried and true techniques directly from the pros. Welcome to Let's Talk Fish. We are live. We're live, and I'm all discombobulated. I got funyuns flying everywhere, pins on the paper, funyuns. and uh, we're live. And I'm gonna check the sound for a minute because uh, <laughs> I gotta threw funyuns at me. I gotta I be honest. In right, right in the, the earball. Ear right in the earball. <laughs> now you're gonna. That's the funyuns? giveaway tonight. Funyuns that have slapped mad in the forehead. And a half drank sun drop. No, I'm. That's gonna be empty by the so, end of the show. We're live in the new studio, and I gotta be honest. I did zero testing. I literally Test. scary, unplugged everything from the old studio, plugged it back in about an hour and a half ago. Zero testing. But I did hear the Funyuns just now, so we're good. We're good. So, so Jeff's going to slide in the other room and check our sound. Y'all let us know on yeah. the feed if our sound is all <laughs> jacked up, and it's 100% Jeff's fault if it is. Um, as usual, if we have a problem, it's always Jeff's fault. It, once in a while, it's Brian's fault, but most of the time, Jeff. And Me and Jeff will take equal blame. <laughs> So we had, I'm, I'm actually going to leave now. You're leaving? Uh, I'm going to go in the other room. Are you going to take your board and your computer with you in case we have a problem? No. I'm going to grab my drink over there, and somebody's going to take my spot. Drew Gregory <laughs> is going to uh, – he's got like a ridiculous giveaway. Oh, Drew does tonight? Ridiculous giveaway. To go with giveaway. the Funyuns? I didn't know Drew. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. It's not just a Funyuns for you A ridiculous giveaway that he's going to talk about here in a minute. So I'm going to be right here checking sound. Appreciate y'all. See you in a minute. All right. So Do we, do we have a bad echo? I hear an echo. No, it, it, you talk, that's why you're talking in a mic, Brian. Well, mics pick up echoes. <laughs> no, no, Brian, Jeff's going to listen to it. Everybody said so far so good. Um, very special guest tonight. Y'all, we got Drew Gregory turning, Mr. Drew Gregory in the house. Thank you, Drew, for being here. And um, Mr. Fat Cat Newton. Fat Cat Newton. Which so everybody knows. Hide your wives, hide your kids, hide and, your three-wheelers. Hide and your, your snacks, hide your snacks. And, and hide, hide your the snacks, funions, he slide said. Slide the funions. You need some funions, fat guy? You want some funions? <laughs> I love Here, them. you can have my I'll funions. crush them up and snort them. <laughs> please, I, please um, do that. <laughs> so, so, so let us know on the sound again. Jeff slid another room. We do have a new studio. Um, um, Ernie, Mr. Wilson will be here soon. We haven't had time to get him here yet, but he's coming. Yeah, Je Jeff has been working daylight to dark. Kinda, sorta, not really. And, uh, but he got this nice studio set up for us, so let's give Mr. Jeff a round of applause. Jeff doesn't get enough credit. He does not get enough credit. Good job, uh, Bobby. Jeff. And, and Fat Cat's here. Drew Gregory's here uh, for another special reason that we're going to be uh, – it's a surprise. We'll See, it does have a little echo. I, saw, I told you. A little echo? Echo. We're getting echo. You getting echo, Jeff? Jeff's not listening to me at all. <laughs> Jeff always does this. So he ignores me on purpose, and he's like, did you say something? He does the same thing Brian does. Brian looks at me, did you say something? I'll tell a whole story with a great punchline at the end. Fact, well, see, we know better than I, that. <laughs> and and, and Thrift's like, did you say something? Well, I'll hear it now because of the echo. I missed it okay. the first time. All right. So, uh, we're good. <laughs> the echo's not that bad. So, We're in the dungeon. Man, why why are you getting so Jeff. defensive? Jeez, man. This is the but dungeon. But it looks good. It's it, like the oh, guy it's that, point. It's like the guy that goes and buys the, you know, the 21-foot Ranger decked out, $70,000, $90,000 boat, gets him a jersey, gets him all kinds of, you know, patches and all kinds. But he doesn't he catch anything. But he looks good doing it. Just ordered last week. <laughs> 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 Jeff said he just ordered his new jersey last week. All right. So over to Mr. Fat Cat. Um, I want to uh, talk about your new gig this year, man. I know you're excited. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exciting. It's, it's crazy. It's, and it feels like it's starting to come together slowly but surely now with the big announcement we had yesterday or the day before. I don't even know what day it is, but it's crazy, Tuesday. man. Tuesday. Is it? You should know that. Let's Talk Fish Live is always yeah, on Tuesday. Yeah, it's on Tuesday. I was testing you I guys. For, I, <laughs> hey, I forget occasionally. Yeah. I really do. No, man, National Professional Fishing League is starting to come together. David Dudley signed up. Now it's going to be me, Luke Dun It'll be Luke Duncan and Dudley in studio. And me. Fat Cat. I'll be on the water, baby. I'm on the water. Oh, you're the on the water. Running lips yeah. and shaking hips. You already know what <laughs> time like it is. Going. 
We're going to be out there busting the gate and doing 98 looking for them boys with bent rods. Yes, right. Huh? Hey, you're going to have your GPS for so, the bent rods? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you gotta How's Luke and Dudley going to – like, there's – it's going to be nonstop. Like, there's not going to get to talk about anything but oh, just man. giving each other a hard time. It's going to be good. It's gonna, be you know what, dude? Um, it's, it's going to be entertaining. For, hopefully the boys catch fish. If not, everybody will still be fun. entertained. Exactly. Yeah, still be fun. It's going to be hard to get a word in. Kind of like tonight's going to be on this show right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we got to do our field, man. We got to – I got to meet some of the guys the other day. We were down at Ufala. And we had some of the guys come in to get some content and everything and met some of the anglers and learn more about them in the field. And – uh. We, it's man. I feel better and better the more and more I learn about it and figure out. Cause I'm not like a thrifter in the area. I don't know all these anglers, but like Luke and Dudley, they're telling me stuff. Oh yeah, Bobby over here used to catch him. So we got some ex. <laughs> we, we have some old FLW tour guys that are coming Bobby. back on. We got other guys that are fully aware and experienced in the bigger leagues and just life yeah. happened at one time and now they're able to get back involved and that's good yeah is there man, anybody that you want to tell us about that hadn't been announced yet oh i would never do that okay no, we, got, just, we, 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 just, we may or may not have a few more surprises coming but uh <laughs> yeah come on, we need to break them I on figured y'all got something fish. cooking come on right. we got to break the so news josh ingram right here josh ingram immediately said that we have a a, a, a three-wheeler a three-wheeler that will actually be donated donated to you um if you'll launch it into a lake Oh, we, we can make that happen. I'll, yeah. Josh, yeah. so happy Josh, to you, be a lake just right out here. We can make that happen. You better send send <laughs> Fat Cat your information, and he's going to hit you up for that three-wheeler. Now, just make sure it runs. He can't launch it if it doesn't run, so just make sure it runs. Um, everybody said the studio looks great. Good job, Jeff. Once again, good it job. It does look very good. What does he have to do to get the three-wheeler? Launch in a lake? No, he yeah, gets a free three-wheeler if he launches it in the lake. If Fat Cat launches it in the lake. You know what's Correct. So over the time of me introducing the three-wheeler to people, I've been offered several <laughs> Three wheeler. Hey oh, man, yeah. come get a Bobby. You know this and that. I, I, yeah. I've got. I actually have seventeen three wheelers in my house that don't run right now. <laughs> seventeen. <laughs> That's probably two thirds of the three wheelers left in the world. True. That True. probably <laughs> is. I mean, this is a dumb, ignorant question. Forgive me, but they. Well, Brian's used to me asking dumb, ignorant questions. <laughs> they. Uh, they still sell. Three wheelers, right? Or Absolutely no. not. Remember no. that nobody the, sells. The, Honda, is it got, of, Honda got their pants suit yeah. off back in the day. The mid nineties, they yeah. They have been. Sold I didn't know that. The oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. nobody in the world that was like the death machine. Of the hey, you want to do a t look up two fifty R? I'm talking about a three wheeler with a wide stance. Ba 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 ba. I mean, boys still dig them right now. Two fifty R three wheeler, bro. But I've got an old uh, two fifty. Uh, I think it's an eighty six or eighty seven big red. Same year you won the classic. Same way I won both classics. Both classics. My bad. Both classics. Get your life right, Bobby. That was that's not the trivia question for tonight, by the way. Everybody's wondering. I'm bad about giving away answers. If y'all ever watched the show before, I I can accidentally give away an answer, pretty, pretty it's, consistently. Um, it makes. I wonder if it's accidentally most. Golly, the engagement you guys have on this unreal. podcast, man. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Maybe I'm trying. For, yeah, Chris. Sorry about the the echo. We're we're gonna work on that. But forgive us again. We're in a brand new studio. And, we got um, some sound panels coming. Sound panels. Sound. Panels. We had sound sound panels in the. So in this the is our third studio. This is our third studio. studio. Yeah. Fat Cats, this is our third studio, and we had sound panels. So we've been doing this one. for three years. We're on growing pains. We yeah. wonder what we'll be next year. There's no telling. Matt's house, probably. Matt's house. I Steven know. says, Fat Cat, you need a kayak. That's what he says right here. So there I, yeah, you go. Got, I, I have one. It's it's an 18-foot aluminum boat. No, I, actually, <laughs> I, I got a uh, 128 uh, Ascend that is, it's, man, it's a unit. So your only water coverage will be out of a sponsor boat or? Where uh, we don't, we have to find something big enough. <laughs> Fat joke. I think I beat <laughs> hey, him to the punch. Hey, you remember when FLW had the big 30 something foot center console with the boom on it? Do you oh, remember I remember that? with the crane arm. Yeah, yes. that's what I we need. <laughs> no, hey, the crane cam, dude. Yeah, the, cr the first time, it was a 2008, it was this. like my second year. We were down at Toho, and like everybody's fishing in water this deep. And they got this 30 something foot center console out there running around in two and three foot of water with this big boom on it getting stuck it was, it was you fun. tried it to hide funny. from this boat okay oh yeah you did not want yeah. the crane cam like finding you, you. train wrecked oh. ever here i want flashback <laughs> chigger bum gardener when he got in that scarab who run around chigger bum gardener oh man that had to be a name remember chigger 
Chigger, I don't know. Bomb Gardner, yeah, you do. He was a he was the personality. Did a few cameos on uh, Bass he, back in the day, but he did the show. He was on the show where I trick my boat with Skeet and G and them boys. Chigger had the gold grill in. I He's, vaguely remember that. Bro. Anyways, he went. I out. remember watching a little bit. That Quinn was on there too. I think. Wasn't Quinn. Yeah, oh, hard yeah. Yeah, but Chigger yeah. Bumgarn. I'm. That's right. been way kind of back obscure. in the day. Thought you guys would know what I was talking about. <laughs> no, no, I don't watch <laughs> you a lot. Know, of he people. was. How, wait, how old are you, Fat Cat? Does oh, anybody man. know how old you are? Nobody knows. So, okay. 23. But Mystery. Chigger Mystery. was one of the good for 23. Chigger was one of the first guys to really not one of the first, but to kind of do what I do as Fat Cat. Like he. He was he would make a dog laugh. Oh, back in the fish fish burn. I was gonna say guys, fish. Yeah, okay. fish, was, fish was there. Fish yeah. still is good. He's like the pioneer of it. Yeah, I, think. I agree. Yeah. But Chigger Bumgarden. Anyways, I digress. Um, <laughs> we, we got a question about any NPFL questions. I'm gonna have to draw. Yeah, man, bring way. them on. I'm, I'm so, uh, yeah. Ty Robbins wants to know: Are, are y'all gonna be utilizing any YouTube live, uh, Facebook, and web pages? Um, he was saying they kind of suck on the phone because when you switch away, you lose my the feed. My screen just went blank. But some of this stuff, mine did too. Me too. Jeff, I think we lost video. Oh, boy. We dark. Look, he left us. Like, literally just bailed. Everybody. We're working on the guys. We got technical. Everybody's panicking. I didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, Somebody turned the lights on. Help, oh, my God. Jeff, they can, they, can still, they can still hear us, so that's no, the main thing. Can this you is, still hear us? I, I, I mean, I, I still guys, see yeah, my Can you guys still hear us? Dark. I still see my Audio, subtitles. Audio, no video. Stuff. Yep. Jeff yep. forgot to pay the <laughs> light right, bill, so we're just doing the show in the dark. So, the, as far as a live coverage for the MPFL, so it, it's it's <laughs> it's heavy. Like it, it's gonna be serious. No, it won't be streamed on YouTube or Facebook. It's all gonna be streamed as the same way that bad, <laughs> it's similar ways to the Bass Live to right. the Major League Fishing. Um, so we're through, gonna, the, through a website. Yes. Okay. It, 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 exactly right. Through a website. I guess that's the best way to answer that yeah, question. Yeah, and, and and those those are always consistent, reliable platforms. You know, um, the the social media pages can. Kind of like it's ours still is doing right now. It's um, still dark. I think Jeff is completely ignoring us. He's over there. Yo, around. Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> now he's not. Um, I'll just explain to everybody what's going on. All right. So well, y'all talk. He's Matt scratching his chin. He's supposed to be. Uh, I was making sure I shaved before I came. I was making sure I got it. It's all spot, black. But, um, why is our screen black, dude? We got no video. What are you doing to our cameras up there? We got no videos. I ain't been here 15 minutes. This Tom is... Mix says pay the Don't blame it on me. Yeah. What you over I didn't do anything. He's like, he's like, I, I said Drew, Drew's leaning on the laptop and pushing buttons and dialing dials. We, we have located stuff. Jeff. He is Kissing assessing babies. the problem. Fat cat brought right the now. darkness. Hey, words hurt, man. I'm not taking away from the show, but I, I swear I didn't hit anything. <laughs> What's up, Bobby, and you're doing? I mean, my God. We sat, we yeah, Dudley's fishing like tournament trail. Hey, the screen's back. How'd Dudley's you do that? fishing BPT. Mine's still oh, back. There it goes. Oh no, Drew, you really, you really turned the screen off. Oh, we're back. My <laughs> cat looks skinny. <laughs> hey, we're back. Okay, <laughs> we're back. I didn't touch that screen. Drew I did swear. It. They do say we they're going to kick like me out of here. I didn't even said <laughs> no. two sentences yet. I'm about to be out of this whole thing. Is You're Twitter good. involved in this? Oh boy, is somebody? Twitter. Tweet. Thank now. you, Jeff. Please, I know what to do now if I need a little attention my way. <laughs> Put your clothes back on. Uh, all right, so live coverage on NPFL as we're, right now. We're it'll back. Be, it'll be streamed through a website. Yes, sir. The national so, so it's going to be 10 camera boats. It'll be um, – so we'll have – not 10. It'll be 10 cameras on anglers' boats, and then I'll be out there running around with someone else with a camera as well. Got you. For all That's the water coverage. And six six tournaments? Six tournaments plus a championship. Okay. Yep. And they're split two, two, and two throughout the seasons, right? They they spread them out pretty good. If they I, did, if they, I they, they, yeah, they they tried their best to, to give the guys some cushion. Right. Right. Well, that's cool. I mean, a lot of the, and we talked about this circuit a little bit um, before on one of these shows, but the cool thing about this circuit is it's really geared towards the man, the working man. I mean, the man that can that can pursue tournament fishing at a higher competitive level for a little bit more money and still keep his day job. You there know? we go. And and that's a. Uh, you know that's that's there, there's a lot to be said for that because there's a lot of AAA level circuits. You got the Bass Opens, you got the Toyota yeah. Series, but it's not paying out what the MPFLs yeah. will and pay out. I mean, it's it's a little bit heavier entry fee, I think, but you still you're playing for a little it, bit more. And money. is it a sign up for all of them type deal, or they're jackpotters and cherry pickers? And no, no, it's, it's a set you, field. You're, you're right? signing okay. a two-year contract. Right. Set okay. field, yeah, yeah. Set field. 125 anglers. 
gotcha. are you guys picking the 10 camera boats? Like, who are they going to follow? Just kind of, are they well, moving during that's, the day? That's for the powers that be. Yeah. Um, that, uh, that's on them. I don't know. You are a power yeah. at B. Now. Well, <laughs> I, listen, in my own thinking. mind, I am. But <laughs> I think, you know, I don't know if they're going to go on, like, it's maybe, you know, Doc Talk, who are the favorites. But you also, with 125 anglers and just starting out, you have to be careful with who gets a camera and who doesn't because everybody's paying right. the same thing to play. So, yeah, bounce around, give everybody exactly. A and, yeah, and that's yeah, that's what we talked about. We're gonna like it's they're gonna try to do their best. Yeah. to spread the love. Yeah. Well, and and that's a big deal, especially for a lot of newcomers to that tour. And and building their own personal brand is gonna be something that they're gonna have to work towards. But y'all are gonna be able to be a big part of that. Yes, um, and as far as the uh, the coverage, you know, obviously the first two days you can bounce around more, but you know the final two days, the guys that are performing better than others, you know, the, is it four days or three days? It's three days. Three days. Okay. All one twenty five fish all three days. And then the oh, tens. Wow. No, I didn't no know cut. that. No, that's yeah, cool. it's just a three day tournament, and it's going to be yes, yeah, one hundred twenty five all three days. I did not. So there's no cut. No cut. Three full days, full field, crown a champ at the end. Yes, sir. For a working guy, that's cool because you know how many days to set your lodging, you know where you're staying, yeah, it's exactly a, what you're doing. It's not like up in the air with Airbnb. You know, you just you can't. Yeah. Do that. Well, and that's a valid point that Drew just brought up because there's as far as catering right more towards the working man to schedule around something like that, yeah. is that yeah. why they did that? You think or? Sure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. I mean, it sounds good, right? They do. I, I will say this about the organization, man. They really try to sit down and think about anything and everything that would benefit the angler. Yeah. They tried to make Very this calculated. as easy. Cause we were new coming into this, so we had to have something enticing. So they tried to make it as easy as possible, and so far, so good. Right. What are the – I guess it's following kind of the same guidelines as far as um, off limits and practice days. I mean, is there a set amount of practice days or – Yes, there is. Yeah, you, oh, okay. that and as far as the no information rule, all that stuff like there, it's same normal rules that, that the, the big league rules yeah. will be incorporated with this as well. Yeah. Um, that, that is pretty cool because you're all the time, like if you make a top 10, you're scrambling trying to round up an extra night at your, wherever your Always. house you're renting or trying to move. Like that's the last thing you want to do is make a top 10 cut and get kicked out of your – house and have to go rent a hotel room the night before the final yeah. day of the event. Well, I look that, at it too, like, you know, you, day two, day one, you had a good day. Day two, you may have stumbled. You're like, man, if I had that one more day, you could mm -hmm. be sitting in 80th place. Yeah. Hit that day three oh, yeah. and then get up in that top 40 where, you know, <clears throat> the, the, our payout, like, first place is, it's going to be a half million dollar purse every tournament. Yeah. First place is 50, but they're paying, I think it's down to 40th spot. I think it's $9,000. Yeah. And then it works so like you say, it's a working man's tournament. They're, these guys are going to be able, not all of them, but make enough money to keep to stay in the uh, black. If I can get the words out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> that, three so, days is good. I like three days because yeah. it's long enough where the cream will rise to the crop. You know, the more days you have, the more it just gives the advantage <clears throat> and really proves to be the better angler. You know, like and it, to me, Elite Series four with, and six. For, and the guys fucking getting their money's worth too, as far yeah, as I'm concerned. Exactly. You know what I mean? That's right. Yeah, because it is fun. I got a Fish question. is fun. See if you can answer it from my fun. buddy Chad Wiley. Okay. He said, if a person turns down the invite, how does he get another later down the road? Reach out. Reach out, Chad. Yeah, man, just reach out. Like I said, we, Tell no door you know is shut somebody. all the way unless you shut it yourself. Um, we're, we're always willing to listen and talk to anyone out there that's interested in coming on board. So just reach out to, uh, you know, the social medias. Can we get you to wear some uh, – Thrift oh, signature cargo shorts next oh, year. Oh yeah, I'm down with that. <laughs> For the on yeah. the water. Somebody get. I, I need a signature cargo short. He had. I he do. had. He's got some capris too. That. Did you have you seen his hook set video before? What's that now? He's got some cargo capris too. Oh bless your heart. They, yeah. they look like it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't gonna deny. It. <laughs> I, I can tell you're a man that hey. does not. You 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 don't. You, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people wear capris. I saw Swindle it. You got to see the shoes he's wearing. Swindle wore capris. Bless his heart. When did Swindle wear capris? I've seen them on some people. <laughs> I've seen them wearing some shorts <laughs> and some jean shorts. I've seen yeah. jean shorts. I've seen them wear some, I believe. Jean shorts. Yes, the jorts. I got. I got to jump. Telling you, I'm I got to sure. jump back in time to see some of this. I'm pretty sure. But <laughs> got them on, apple bottom jeans on. Yeah. Did you bring your nunchucks? They want to know. Yes. You did bring Sweet. them. Sweet. Yep. They're not Sweet. in here, but I do have the nunchucks. Okay, I never good. go anywhere without them. Can yeah, we, we, we don't you know got to have your protection. Yeah. I mean, no games. When the, like Cypress Hill said, when the ship goes down, you got to be ready. <laughs> Scott Fell wants to know where your classic <laughs> trophies are. He said trophy, but I know you've won too, so where are your classic trophies? The Smithsonian. Smithsonian. <laughs> it's <Okay>. the Smithsonian. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
That, um, oh, look at there, Thrift. Um, Doug well, Hayes said he found a glass bottle of Sundrop at his home. I camp. see them on the ground occasionally. occasionally. Glass bottles? Yeah. I've never seen, well, it's been a long yeah. time since I've seen a glass bottle of Sundrop. Yeah, I'm having the same problem your phone's been doing the last couple of weeks. I'm not getting all the questions in the comments. I mean, I've got 240 comments or whatever on here, but. Uh, I think mine's wor actually working tonight. Uh, maybe we switched phone. Did you switch my phone with me or something? So know. if y'all see Drew or Fat Cat, if y'all see a question you want to address, y'all pop in on it because I'm not. I'm getting some questions, but they're real sporadic and they're, they're my, my. Well, I'm getting a lot of. Them. Eric Boyd. Freezing. Eric Boyd did ask. He lives local here. Eric Boyd. Um, yep. He did ask if I were to ever jump into a boat and fish any, you know, MPFL for example. I'm a working man. If I were to jump into a boat, would I also target rivers the way I do in the kayak? You know, extreme wild waters. That's river a good bassing. question. That's a good yeah. question. Um, I mean, honestly, I, I would just because that's my strength. I mean, you got to hit your strength first. I think there's a sometimes there's a flaw in, the, in being too versatile. You could be too versatile, and then you're not great at anything. You know what I mean? It's about that's when, where I'm at. Yeah, I don't know about that, Thrift. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> you're pretty. I think you're pretty he strong hates, everywhere. Don't let him say that. He hates <laughs> rivers. I he does hate rivers. I rivers. Go up he river. does <laughs> hate rivers. But you got but that's guys my point. like you that that's their deal. Yeah. Like, I mean, Wheeler, he always goes up and explores the river. He may not fish it in a tournament, but he goes and checks them out. Yep. Hot Defoe, river rat. There's a bunch of river rats. I out would there. definitely do it. That's what I would do first. I would first, you know, beg and plead for them to allow jet motors again and stuff like that so I can go even further. But that's, you know, it's another whole topic. But. Anyway, I would definitely target rivers and creeks as far as I could go, as skinny as I could go. I'd be an aluminum boat, and uh, there's always, you know, fish there. But those are wild and unpressured fish. The same fish I'm catching, quite frankly, it's not much different than what thrift, what you do offshore. Matt, you guys are good at, both of y'all really good at finding offshore fish, too. You're just looking for fish that have seen a few less lures, you know what I mean? Yeah, They're going to be a little pressure. easier to catch. So you're fishing for wild waters the same way I am up the river, you know, rivers and creeks as unpressured fish. That's it, man. The biggest issue I've seen with a with our tournaments and, and river fishing is, uh, it, I mean, there's giant bags called the rivers everywhere we go, is those guys being able to stretch it out over a four-day period. Yeah. And you're restricted, too, when you jump into an aluminum or whatever it may be. You are. There's places you can get in a kayak, and I've seen some oh, of your yeah. videos that there's yeah. nobody getting in any kind of boat. I mean, not aluminum well, boat. And just, just to say if they do, they're going to disrupt it more than that kayak will. Correct. For, yeah. for it's sure. all about I stealth, fart. Fat Cat. Sure. Abs oh, yeah. It's all about stealth. <laughs> Agile like oh, a yeah. dairy cow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what you, you need, know, somebody needs to make a, a kayak that's like airboat style kayak. Like with a mini airboat propeller. Is that legal? Put a little daggone uh, leaf blower on the back of it. Huh? Bam. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, it probably work. I don't know. I mean, you get you one of them 40 volt, 40 volt D walks <laughs> and you, you <laughs> bring the front tires off the ground. You, you wouldn't go. be stealthy anymore, I'll tell you that much. You wouldn't be stealthy oh, yeah, as you're heading are up there. But pretty quiet. Airboats? No, Air boats are quiet. the 40 volt D walk. Oh, no. oh, well, we'll steal the fan. I don't know. That might it's, make some it's noise. Quiet. Chris, sorry, man. Hey, we man, don't, have... don't shoot down his dreams. Jeez. Yeah, this, <laughs> this <laughs> is my startup. <laughs> don't shut it down before it gets started. We had a request for Fat Cat to wear Hogfather's Don Hog wig, but we don't have it here in the studio. No, so it's at the old studio. We can't ask him to do that. Um, Brian Clary has a special request for you, Brian. For me? Yeah. Right. He wants you to go show everybody your shoes. Why does everybody want to look at my shoes? They're like. Under Armour. They, oh, what, what, what would you call old. those, Fat Cat? They're not. They're not actually uh, shoes anymore. They're, they're they're busted, is what they are. They, they are. are they high mileage. High mileage. They, they, but they still work. They Under still Armour. Work. Smell uh, like deer guts and cabbage. Right. They, they still work. <laughs> I ain't gonna. Did you smell mine? I didn't smell. I got a little whiff for you, but you can catch them from here. <laughs> I'm you good. Smell it. I'll show it. He's got some Under Armour running shoes on that have since been turned into partial these, flip flops. These are my, yeah, they're like. Flip flops but slash, I, you know what, dude? Like everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people. That's to me. Like I've been that's a fan. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. But you know, the reputation that I think you have is that you're not into the bells and whistles. Look at me stuff. <laughs> none of that. If it still works, it works. That's exactly right. I just realized that's, what pants you were wearing too. What? He's, he's not even wearing. I'm not trying to. Run. Yes, he's touching. He my has pants. on black cargo <laughs> sweatpants. I do. Look, dude, this is yeah. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Please show everybody your outfit. This is classic thrift. You cannot make this up. <laughs> what you got in them cargo pockets? You got anything in them? <clears throat> nothing in the nothing in the actual you got a sun drop in one of them cargo pockets? <clears throat> <laughs> He's got a few stingers, the Mickey stingers. 
cargo <laughs> sweatpants. I didn't know. I honestly didn't know they made cargo sweatpants. I might could be in. I've there. had these for a really, really long time. Everybody uh, wants to make fun of cargo pants today. You got them for to Christmas. Something for. You got them That's for true. Christmas. Yeah, I mean, your, your signature bag needs to be prepared. named Cargo Something. Your next signature. Yeah, always prepared. Cargo Something. Hey, Fat Cat, we got to address Casey Reed's question on here at some point. Oh, Casey's up here. Yeah, Casey Jump Reed's on there, boys. All right, what, many, what does he say, Fat Cat? How many kayak, uh, kayakers does it take to put out a garage fire? <laughs> <laughs> so the backstory on Casey Reed. I made a meme last week. I'm not sure if you guys saw it. I made yeah, who's, a, who's Casey Reed? Kayaker. Okay, kayaker. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Sorry, um, Casey. Yeah, no problem. Anyways, uh, it, it, I made a meme. It was a picture of a, an orangutan driving a little teeny bicycle on a sidewalk. Big orangutan, small bike, and there's a little toddler in front running away from the orangutan. So I put me and my boat on the orangutan, and then I put kayakers on the kid. Like, we could run over, just making jokes. Get out the way, here we come. And it, uh, yeah, it, it, it got bigger than what I anticipated. Some of the kayakers didn't, what didn't did like you expect? I was making <laughs> jokes. Is this fact? Anybody takes anything serious from my page. <laughs> That's what I was going to do. Did you somebody know what I mean? actually like somebody, somebody, like somebody yeah. got Somebody actually uh, well, got A couple of people did, but for the, for the most part, everybody had a great sense of humor. They knew okay. it was coming, but it was a little bit blowback from it. But anyways, <laughs> Chad Hoover, KBF, got involved because he actually received messages about it. And he, he, he addressed us, oh, Fat Cat's good. It was just a joke. And then it got let up. Well, hey, let's do a kayak versus boat tournament. Casey Reed being the kayaker, me being the boater. And we're working on things now to where that, it's, it looks, yeah, it's, something good is going to come out of this. Something real good is yeah. going to come that's out good. of it. And, um, I'll vouch for you. I mean, that's clearly, I mean, a joke. That's, that's what you're oh, doing. Yeah. And, and honestly, I was joking with you earlier. If it's anybody all on the, on the lake, if it's a jet ski or party boat, yeah, you're going to put matter. that there. You, anybody that's in your way to catch a fish, jokingly, you're kind of in our way. Yeah. Right? And, but, and, and, and especially, it's so relevant now, especially the past five years, how kayak fishing has become so big. It's, it's new. Like you have us, a, a lot of guys have bass fish so long on boats up and down rivers, but now you have to keep your eyes open for that kayak because yeah. some of them are getting, they may not be familiar with waterways or getting into kayaking, and they might want to go out in the channel early in the morning or late in the evening. Yeah. It's just to where it's, and even with boaters not being aware, we both have to be aware of each other and work together. And that's just, that's what I would like to just get yeah. a, get through with that. Bring the kayak and the bass fit, the, the, the bass boats. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's no, all no, jokes. So, so, like, just excuse my ignorance on it, but do kayaks have used to be to registered, like, and get boat numbers, like, they do if they you have, have a motor, trolling right? motor on it. Or some states, they do even without. I was say some states, I states I like require. Ohio, for sure. I believe maybe Pennsylvania's one. I can't remember. But a few of them, even without. But a motor, it's actually a separate registration. But any time you have an electric motor, you got to have it registered in two of our major tournament trails, kayak bass fishing and the BASS, you know, Kayak Nation. They, ha they allow motors. The Hobie Bass Open Series, which, by the way, Angler of the Year, sitting, you know, <laughs> getting right here. Right over, right. Uh, anyway, uh, but, yeah. but uh, for, yeah, that's all right. That's For, right. Forgive me. All good. Oh, go all ahead. good. Go ahead. But I'm address that. They do not uh, allow motors, which is cool because yeah. you know they create some that to be a little bit more of an athletic, you know, trail. Not yeah. that you're not still athletic either way, but I, that's a good topic you bring it up here, uh, Fat Cat, because the bass boat world and the kayak world, they definitely need to understand and get along with each other. And, and we've talked about this. I ran into Fred Rumbanis coming down a creek flowing into Lake Dardanelle. We had a 30-minute conversation about it. He was like, what the heck are all these kayakers doing everywhere? He was pre-fishing for a Toyota series. Yeah. I told him what we were doing. And, and uh, you know, the beauty of the kayak and what I'm thinking and what I'm hoping this where this goes, because they're both growing. We don't want to be in yeah. the same space. We don't want to copy exactly what you're doing in your waters because – you got the best tool for it, quite frankly, and you got the series for it. I hope we continue to find new waters, new chamber of commerce, new tours and departments that are dying for, for some exposure that you guys could never do a tournament on. But we can because of our watercraft, you know what I'm saying? And then the bass boat world, hopefully they can see. I'll be honest with you. I became a big fan of every national, you know, pro bass boat tournament trail only when I got serious in, into kayak fishing and big national tournaments myself. Yeah. So we're putting eyeballs. We're getting downloads and clicks for that world. And... The, you know, the same equipment that sponsored Fitzgerald and all it's, that. It's, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, the whole it's thing. not different. It's the same. I mean, kayak fishermen right. are buying the same things same that stuff. people that fish out of bass boats are. I mean, you're using the same type of rods, same reels, same baits, just fishing out of different watercraft. Yeah. I mean, it's still all the same thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, one thing about kayaking, too, professional kayaking or kayak fishing, you guys have potential to, to fish fisheries that big boats can't 
just because you guys have a lower impact on the ecosystem, even just from the wake alone, how some communities and different things are so sensitive yeah. on erosion, things of that nature. Yeah. Like you guys, like from, lakes with horsepower. There we go. Things of that nature. And, yeah. and chains of lakes, because yeah. we can launch anywhere. You know, we don't right. have to launch at one ramp. So you could have, you could get more chains involved. As a matter of fact, Kike Bass Fishing National Championship was in Shreveport. We could pick from five lakes. Right. We can do stuff you guys can't. So I hope we lean that direction and keep keep all the wild waters and those places. The, on the forefront of the kayak tournaments because that's the reason why we bought a kayak. That's why yeah. we got in a kayak and not a boat. If I was just fishing, you know, the kayak world may not understand this, but I mean, I do this for a living. And if I was just fishing tournaments in a kayak for a living, I would want it to, I mean, if, I mean, not in a kayak, if I was fishing tournaments on lakes for a living, I would be doing it in a boat. That's the best tool. Yeah. And this is the best tool for what I like to do. So that's right. why I'm in it. Anyway. Speaking of it being the best tool, and something I think about too, some guys get into the kayak fishing. Oh, I don't want to spend all that money on a big boat. Absolutely. But yeah. they get into kayak fishing, and next thing you know, you got <laughs> right? 15, 20 grand tied up in the boat trailer, electronics. Like, give me a, give me a rundown of a uh, – how much can you actually spend on a kayak? Like, Complete rig we, oh, tournament ready. I mean, you could go – I mean, Hobies are pretty expensive. You know, they can get up there in the 5,000 range, and then you start Just for the boat? Decking it out? Just for the boat? Just for the boat? Just for the boat. Okay. Uh, and then you can keep going up with your electronics and your motors. I mean, you can yeah. run a 105-pound thrust. You can 36-volt yeah. oh. system, which I'll be doing this year. But, uh, Sweet. Hey, you're going to be uh, running a 36-volt? Awesome. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold, hold, hold on a second. Are you going to be running an Ultrax? No. Okay, so no spot lock. It will be with a, an a XI-5. And and I, I'm getting a um, you're speaking new, new tour to tour pro for motor guide. Okay, okay. and XI5. They gotcha. got anchor, they got but an you're gonna have spot lock on your kayak. Five. Well, yeah, it'll have a thrift won't have spot lock. Spot no, lock. I don't. No, thrift won't. Let's he just doesn't keep like going. spot lock. Yeah, no, he doesn't like. It. He doesn't like it. So, it'll move you. It'll move I mean, you. I mean, I like spot lock, but I just, oh, I'm, I hadn't got it. Yet. <laughs> I think old SB Fishing, uh, he's up there from where I'm at. He's got a big YouTube following. He fishes a lot of different stuff. Great dude, great angler, but. He has a kayak he's been fishing out of lately. It's got a, I think a 12 inch Solix. Yeah. yeah. It might be, it might be 10, but it's, it is a unit on that kayak. And, and what do you, you guys run, are starting what, to use Panoptics. What do too. you run on your kayak, gra graph wise? Uh, I'm going to, I don't know. This year it's going to change. I might do something. Oh, but last year. Size wise, what have you been running? And back in the day, I was using like a nine inch okay. Gray Marine, and I haven't had been with a company for a while. I've been doing this wild stuff, and I, I just switched to Crescent kayaks. Okay. You know, I was with Jackson last time I was on here, yeah, right? And I switched right. to Crescent. I'm designing with Crescent kayaks, and my new kayak comes out in uh, probably like uh, late spring. That's cool. It's pretty slick, yeah. yeah that's cool. uh, I'm that's excited cool. about it. I wish I, you know, I could talk about it even more right now because it looks pretty cool right now. But um, most of the time, though, you just dip the rod in the good. water and see how deep it is. Yeah, yeah, that's all you need where I go. I'll be honest with yeah. you. I won the Angler of the Year in a six ninety nine retail kayak from Crescent called the Ultralight. It weighed 49 pounds. I access small and skinny water. Not all the time. I mean, I've, you know, at the Bass Tournament of Logan Martin, I fished main, main Lake stuff and uh, got 16th in that one. But I do prefer finding that skinny water. And a real small, lightweight kayak, it's not just good for that water. It's just good to access the water when you got to go down a steep rip rap bank to you know on a river uh, or mm -hmm. creek a bridge you know what i mean it's, it's tough yeah. so um and then i used another one called the light tackle and those are 6.99 8.99 you could go like you said up to five thousand bucks new well these well then or you get them six nine with the apex yeah. what's the, the apex is like ten eleven thousand right. dollars so For you could go as, as high Bone as that stock right stock you can go as high as that or as low as you want to go it, 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 it you know dick's academy wherever you can get you know yeah. walmart 200 dollars kayak that's the cool the entry what about into a getting into tube? kayak is can you fish out of a float like a i don't you tube? cannot fish out of float tube because the kayak world in the community is what's driving the economic force of this whole thing they're contributing right. to the trails so therefore it's got to be marketed and promoted as a kayak gotcha okay. otherwise it's if just i do not, that you're gonna pull me behind your ranger yeah yeah. <laughs> I'll pull you up to the creek mouth and slingshot you in, and then you just let go. Perfect. 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 Like a flat we, rock. Dude, if, if, if we hit it at the right angle, we could even jump some dams and maybe some oh, farm yeah. ponds and things oh, like yeah. that. So I'm just trying to think outside the box. You know, keep an open mind. That's how you catch big ones. So, no, uh, guys, we appreciate everybody tuning in. A couple special guests tonight, Mr. Drew Gregory, who I didn't dress that early, and my apologies, Drew, but he uh, is the reigning angler of the year in the – Hobie, yep. Hobie, sir, because there's a, there's a KBF. Yep. There's the Hobie. There's the there's three or four pretty big ones, right? 
three major ones that you would call national, and only that because they go all over the so country. The same H- Hobie you know, and KBF. What's the other? What's the third? BASS. You okay. Know, you have oh really? Yeah. Thanks, Drew. Good job, uh, Matt. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. okay. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Fat cat. What are you laughing at, fat cat? Yeah. Oh, you laugh. Okay. Right, you, cool. you can laugh at yeah. Drift all you want. You can't laugh at me. That's my it's, it's my rules, okay? Um oh you have a challenge, Mr. Omar Petty wants to he wants a one V one thrift. You what? Moss Lake one V one with Mr. Omar Petty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I ain't going to turn down a challenge. I might get beat, but I ain't scared to get beat. <laughs> Toby, Toby Lawson asked a couple times, where's Mr. Wilson? I've seen a bunch of comments on here about Mr. Wilson. We apologize. Apologize. We uh, Jeff just shut the studio up, up today. Um, we're in a new studio. Somebody asked where it is. It's still in Shelby. It's actually in a warehouse over on the – what side of town are we on? We're on the, kind of we're the, on the south, south side. The south side of we're town. We're on the south side. And uh, kind of the south side of town. And uh, we're breaking it in tonight. So a little echo and things like that. Y'all forgive us, but we're going to uh, continue to improve. Proof and uh, just glad to have y'all support. Um, so, all right, Fat Cat, they want to know, and then you've got a lot of them. Yeah. And I've seen this comment twice tonight. Justin Thomas, the last one to ask it. Uh, your funniest fishing story. Um, you're, you're funny. You're, 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 you're most, I mean, I know your most famous and funniest uh, would be the, the back-to-back classics, 87. Um, but do you have another one that most of the fishing world maybe hasn't heard about they oh my gosh they've heard them all man i want to go to my youtube channel Jeez, put me on a spot like that no I, i'm not i mean that, that's he the best thing like a, he did. is if you don't subscribe to fat cat's youtube channel yeah you, uh, you need to do yourself a favor and jump in jeff why are you looking at me like that you just come in out of nowhere and look at me like i'm stupid with a razor blade in his hand or a box cutter or something <laughs> hey andrew alexander says we got room for a live in-house audience now we got plenty yeah, we of do. room we, we do. do. Yeah, we do. About 10,000 square feet right here. You set up all the chairs you want. Ooh. Well, how are they going to see in this room from out there? Ah, okay. Hey, I just thought about something, though. There's a, so what happens with me making, I'm sorry, I just, boom, hit me in the head. Making YouTube videos, making stuff like I've done, normally the ones that I really enjoy the most or think are the best are the ones that don't do any good, right? Yeah. I made one video a few years ago about Shaw Grigsby's mustache. <laughs> I've heard about that one, but I haven't Bro, seen that. I, I, haven't I seen interviewed that. like at the time fifteen or twenty of the the big angler, Hank Parker, Roland Martin, <laughs> uh, a lot of guys I interviewed and asked that question. And the best part of the video is when I get to Hank Parker and he doesn't know who I am for nothing. It's a few years ago, and um, I was asked, "What do you think Shaw Grigsby's mustache smells like?" And he got kind of awkward. Then well, I was you like, asked Hank. I said, I said, I said uh, Hank Parker. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> gotcha. I said, "What does yours smell like?" And he's like, uh, well, I don't know. Probably smells like, you know, bologna and cheese or what I ate this morning. I said, can I, can I smell it? He was like, uh, what? <laughs> it got so awkward, dude. But yeah, that it one's is, on there. It, it may not be as awkward as I remember, but yeah. Shaw Grigsby's mustache was one of my I favorites. did one one time where I got a goose to attack me. That was pretty good. Oh, one. yeah? Yeah, yeah. Went pretty viral. So, <laughs> well, you know, you'll check that one out sometime. One of your OGs, in my opinion, <laughs> was the – and. <laughs> Uh-oh. It was Stephen Guthrie just brought this one up. Was the shotgun? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that that was huge. Oh yeah. That so, was huge. That so, was probably my first viral. One that, of the yeah. That was that huge. is on your YouTube channel, right? That's on the YouTube. I blew a hole in my ceiling. So here's the deal. <laughs> have you seen this one? No. I haven't. Okay, you have to watch this one. <laughs> yeah. yeah so I, I, I went hunting that day. I got to start. I watching went crappy stuff. hunting that day, and Wait, I took well, a you spinning went what? crappy hunting. It was crap owl hunt. I was hunting for owls while I was crappy fishing. I had the rod <laughs> attached to the shotgun, and I was by a pond fishing while I was hunting owls. Okay? It's fat cat. Anyways, <laughs> snap a turtle. Come up, fly, shot a snap a turtle. I wondering. shot a few times. Get to the house. I'm talking about gun safety. Make sure your gun's on. Bow, bow. Poo! Shot. And all this stuff falls down on top of me, right? Blew a hole in my ceiling. So you thought. That was actually the third shot in my house. That was, that the was third all time. scripted. Yeah, that was scripted. And the <laughs> stuff that fell out of the from the ceiling was kindling and stuff. If you see, if you watch the video again, you'll see some blue stuff fall. That is a balloon that I'd put up there with baby powder, BBs, <laughs> uh, toilet paper. Are you serious? Yeah. All this time. Yeah, dude. yeah. Uh, all it, this time. That went. That that video was. If people knew where I lived. They would have come burn my house down. I was the reason the government was trying to take guns away from people. Is what everyone said. <laughs> yeah, but that video was. That you weren't. Was, you weren't on the, the, the billboards of, of uh, I mean, you weren't the gun safety child. 
No, so no, but I was, I, the reason I made that video, I saw so many people online just discharge firearms in their house from just being a complete idiot. So I said, yeah. you know, I, I can do this. I can be an idiot. <laughs> So that's where that came that's from. That's pretty good. I completely forgot about that one, and I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad Stephen reminded What's us. What's the Chris is something about a uh, Matt Airy Backstreet Back Boy karaoke? Uh -oh. I have no idea what he's talking about, y'all. I, mean, I, I would like to see. Chris, that. you been drinking tonight or something? I would I don't, like to see I, that. I don't, I don't know. Um, so we have a big giveaway, right, Drew? We do. You we want to? You want to tell them? So the giveaway tonight. Is compliments of Drew, Mr. Drew Gregory and all of his fine sponsors. Uh, I don't even know what it is. So, Drew, you want to let them know what to give? This is for the <laughs> sure. trivia question at the end sure. of the show. Uh, let's see here. We got uh, some mutual sponsors here donating stuff. We like that. We've got um, Z-Man coming in with uh, you know about fifty dollars worth of, worth of their new products. You can get the goats. You get the uh, you know maybe stealth jackhammer and some Willow Vibe. So. We got that going for you guys. We got a Bending Branches paddle, a $100 paddle, or you can upgrade us a gift card for 100 bucks. So they got a few paddles that are in that range and below. Yak Attack with the $25 gift card. That's uh, kayak fishing accessories for those of you that don't know. They make some awesome stuff that sort of outfit, rig your boat how you want it. Uh, we've got uh, Real Tree Fishing coming in with uh, some, it's actually a, like a cooler, like a cool cooler, Real Tree Fishing. Worth about 50 bucks. Um, catch, catch board. So we have, we have a standard measuring board we have to use in these kayak fishing catch photo release tournaments. And uh, they're going to donate one of their sweet measuring boards so some of you guys out there can get in the game. And uh, Cortland Master Braid coming in with uh, about two or three spools of uh, some Cortland line. I love that Master Braid. It's awesome. Awesome line. So nice. That dude. is it. Uh, I believe I said everybody. You're putting us to shame. That's like three. a... I'm getting over okay. three, well over three hundred dollars in gear tonight. Uh, compliments to Drew's fine sponsor. So real tree fishing stuff, Z-Man stuff. I've um, got the kayak. The official is that the official kayak measuring board. The catch board is. Okay. And I'm actually just joined the catch team. Just a new a new sponsor. They do some really cool stuff with video. They're very creative content makers. So go go catch uh, catch them on uh, social media. But uh, you know we'll even get. I'll even uh, tell James Durbecker, who owns Crescent, to throw in a Crescent kayaks hat for you guys. So nice. we'll get a Crescent hat too, in, in anticipation of. Uh, what's to come? And Fat Cat will smell your mustache. Yeah, I'll give you oh, an Eskimo free. kiss. As, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a bonus. <laughs> uh, Fat Cat oh, Titan first. Tungsten. My bad. Titan Tungsten. Did I say them? No, you didn't say $50 Titan. $50 worth. Josh Perryman. Nice. Almost missed it. Sorry, $50. Josh. $50. All right. That's, all right we're 50 at $400. Bucks. $400 worth of uh, fine sponsor products. Compliments with Mr. Drew Gregory for our trivia question. Always at the end of the show, so y'all stay tuned. We had... We got around 250 viewers, um, so guys, we appreciate everybody and gals for tuning in. Uh, Fat Cat's first appearance on Ike Live, Lee Pennington said he asked uh, 87 pounds of bacon or 87 pounds of bass, and what was your response? Who knows? <laughs> I'm sure if it's, uh, it's probably inappropriate. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're not quite as inappropriate as Ike Live. Yeah, yeah, they get crazy. But I, <laughs> because you were on Ike Live, I think your response, Lee remembers this fondly. <laughs> I will 87 your mom, by the way. She, he, said, <laughs> he said, by the way, she's still waiting. <laughs> My hashtag is your mom's favorite fisherman. What? What? <laughs> that, what? Tell that, her I said hey. That could be. <laughs> I don't even see that. That's got to be one. Of them. I just made that up. No, I'm serious. It's a, it's really on. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I, didn't I try that. to keep everything I do, man, family friendly. There are sometimes I push the line, but <laughs> I've never said a cuss word. Or I don't show any crazy stuff on any of my things, but I do get a little sideways on these boys sometimes. Oh, that I mean, I, I, that's good. Oh, and I want to touch on something real quick about the shotgun video. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I did discharge the firearm in there, but it was not a regular shotgun shell. So that just so you know, it, well, I did you see, cut the wadding and let. Yeah, I try to tell too many people how I did it because I don't want. Yeah, to, you don't want the shit. Yeah, I took yeah. the shot out of it. Yeah. yeah. So no. I mean, yeah, because you, yeah, I had no idea. I mean, it yeah. looked like. Well, some guys, if you look at it, it was it safe. Is what you say? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was salt in there instead of, but it doesn't have a full recoil, so the shot gets stuck in the receiver. Anyways, your uh, your video, your kayak uh, kayak video on the ice is pretty. Was that the same video where you were sight fishing? Yes. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Sight fishing on the ice out of a kayak for spawning bass. Yep. yep. And cutting it with a chainsaw to get to yeah. them. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> my Spencer favorite one that was, was one of some of your, I don't know how early the work was, but the, the butter on the fishing reel oh, in the yeah. microwave, that, yeah. was, that yeah. was one of my favorites, just personally. I appreciate it. Yeah, that, that was... um. It seems like I can just do things in these videos that set people off. 
I, Somebody got mad about that? Well, too? yeah, I think about what I'm doing sometimes just to in, get that going on. But I had an empty propane tank, and I'd put it <laughs> under the microwave. I definitely got. I had people messaging me privately. Hey, man, that's you better move that propane tank. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, I'd, listen, I mean, you, I'd put gas on the reel and put gas in the microwave to set it on fire. I was mad the microwave didn't blow up and set on fire. It was a weak that fire. That is very calculated. <laughs> Hence the whole shotgun story. Believe me, he none of my very, videos are as big as I want them to be. I can he promise. was very yeah. calculated, and, and he is very safe in everything that he does. You know, you know? I wonder if, like, uh, like, like you got to think places like, uh, what, what was that movie, uh, what did Knoxville do? Jackass. Jackass. Yeah, yeah. Jackass. I mean, they did similar stuff. I mean. I think a lot of them. I, yeah, they, I, yeah, they did do some similar stuff. But yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I try I to think about everything. I, I try to just do things to where You're going to have to put a disclaimer at the bottom of your videos. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see right stupid. now on that boat at MPFL and see. It's going to be an extra reason to tune in. You just don't know what Fat Cat is going to do. That's a true story. Out there. Angler's going to be like, oh, man, fat cat's around. I might need to Yeah, here's another one. Uh, John Martin brought up um, modifying crankbaits with a chainsaw. So I was talking about how, you know, you go transitioning from throwing deep diving plugs to shallow plugs instead of buying a new one. You just take your chainsaw and trim the bill off of your deep diving plug. And so I did that, and it, I about lost three toes. <laughs> that's, that's another video. A it? chainsaw. So is that how you got the... Uh, I mean, I guess that's how they made that, that Amish swim bait that you like so much. Yeah, no, the, the them boys did that over there. So I got a small Amish community in Japan that make <laughs> these swim baits for me, and uh, I don't know how they do it. It's a trade secret over there. Is the that Japanese glide Amish, bait or is it more like a Seville? Like a, I mean, what's the action on that bait? I've oh, man. It. It pretty, it's, it's like me. Yeah. Like it's, like, it's like you? Yeah, like how, how you know I waddle when I walk? <laughs> like a cow? That's kind of what the bait does. <laughs> Irresi uh, irresistible to the big girls. Yeah, right? absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. them heifers love it. Them <laughs> big old heifers love irresistible. it. Irresistible. <laughs> uh, is it true? Cody wants to know. Is it true that you really did sign some boobs one time? Yeah, they were on a guy though. <laughs> <laughs> true story. Definitely By the way, he said if you're ever shout uh, out to Cody from <laughs> Ohio or something. Akron, Ohio. He said if you're ever up there, is it, he, was he on here? Yeah, he said he'll make. Oh, sure, that's cool, man. Make sure you got a red hey. roof, uh, red roof in room ready. Oh, ready that's that's where I live now, man. Up in that area. Is it really? Just a lot of good there, people yep. up there, dude. I people, enjoy man. Ohio. A lot of good people. The fishing, not so much, but the people. I don't know. There are some good spots in Ohio. Like I know the boys beat up mosquito and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, thoughts and prayers out. We didn't know this. Yeah. Apparently, there's a 16-year-old kid missing the, uh, in the Ohio. Did I read that right? I Ohio River, sure maybe. Oh, oh man, that sucks. A, I think kayak. They said. And he was kayak in a kayak. Um, yeah. Thoughts and prayers out to that family. We have we have not heard about that. Thanks for making us aware of that. But um, oh yeah, jo and, Joseph's yeah. asking any tips on you know how to prevent that. You know, the main thing, guys, is go with the you know not by yourself in the winter, especially, and wear yeah. your life jacket. That's something in the kayak world. Is it's that a big mandatory? Issue. It's mandatory yeah. in tournaments and then. You know, for me doing it, you know, for, you know, for a living professionally, you know, you're not going to get into the mainstream media, any publications, if you're not wearing a life jacket. They're not going right. to promote that because it's seen as you setting, you know, a bad example in our world. It's a little bit right. different, you guys on the boat. But go with friends. Make sure you got people there with you. Wear the life jacket. Bring an extra set of clothes with you in a dry bag, not just loose on your boat. If you flip, you need them in a dry bag. And uh, you could even go further and bring some some stuff to start fires and all that. But you know. Just make sure you're with other people and let people know where you're going. That way yeah. they know where to go, go looking for you, which is a cool thing about our <clears throat> tournaments. We use the, this app. You know, there's a Tourney X, there's Fishing Chaos, there's multiple apps that we're using. And it's got GPS data and coordinates and where you catch those fish to know that they're, they were caught in legal waters. It also helps us know where everyone is, you know, to keep them safe and if we need, ever need to go find them. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, and guys, keep in mind, it's as simple as this. We all have smartphones for the most part. Most of these yeah. smartphones has location services. Yeah. Uh, service options on there. I keep mine turned on all all through hunting season, all the time. So my wife knows, you know, she can even pinpoint me in which deer stand I'm sitting in and things like that. And, and I typically hunt with buddies or let buddies know exactly what stand I'm in, guys that know the property like I do. Um, but overall, I mean, that's a simple way too. Just yeah. keep your location services on. That's um, right. So uh, Good clothes, know. no no cotton, you know, stuff that's gonna soak up water. That synthetic material is a little bit better, so. Yeah. We yeah. got a we got a request, special request from a, a friend of mine who texted in and I think I saw this comment earlier, asked Fat Cat about they want to know about your uh experience flying first class and then serving him lent, lentil. Is that I say that right? Lentil soup. Oh yeah. Um yeah. 
I don't know what I didn't know what that was. I don't know who had is it. Isn't the lentil like the little beans? Yeah, it's like beans. Little, yeah, like I didn't lentil. know. I, it, it, so they, I was for, Brian Robinson. Bless his heart. Love that dude. <laughs> Minnesota Vikings, Real Men Foundation, K9 for cops. But he flew me out to MC an event. First class. First time ever on first class. I was pumped. Well, <laughs> pumped. I thought I was somebody. And uh, first man, get going out there. And they um, first went a hot rag. I was like, hot rag for. I saw the lady beside me, I'll take one. She put it on her face. I'm like, good. I want a hot rag. But then they brought food out. And I forget <laughs> how. I think I'd ordered it like you. Anyways, they brought this food out. Wait, you got the hot rag before the food? I don't know. My story, I got the hot rag at some point. I okay. don't remember the I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think they bring you that. I think they Here's bring you the that. Here's the deal, bro. They hand. brought out a bowl of stuff, and they called it lentil soup. I didn't know what lentils were. So I poked around, looked for onions and carrots, didn't see those, so I ate it, right? But they brought out this round thing, and I thought it was a tortilla. So I was about to pick a tortilla up and scoop the stuff. I was the, it was a fancy napkin. <laughs> and so the lady, she was like, baby, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, she stopped me. Baby, don't. No, no, no. That's a napkin. But, yeah, lentils, it's not the best story, but <laughs> lentil soup, first did you class. Take a, did you take hey, a bite you of got to learn. Huh? Did you take a bite of the napkin? napkin? No, I didn't. No, 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 okay, no. Okay, you didn't no, like wrap no, your No, no. I could have lied and said I did, but I did. What a dumb story. But yeah, <laughs> lentil soup can suck it. It was dumb. It was. But this is why I'm not concerned one bit about MPFL. I'm, I'm telling you, man, there's going to be no dead time. Yeah, Between no, you and Luke Duncan useless yeah. telling yeah. stories like this, mouth. if nobody's you know, catching them right yeah. then, trust me, they're going to be all right. Yeah, another shout out I want to give, and, and it's, it's mainly just a kind of a, a remembrance deal. And, I, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, I didn't get to know this man very well, but I did have some some uh, tournament experience fishing against him over the yeah. years. He kicked my butt plenty of times, and and I know Thrift knows him from back in the day fishing oh, the yeah. FLW days. But Mr. Mark Pack uh, unfortunately lost his battle to COVID this past week, and and uh, he will he will be remembered. And, and everybody say a prayer for his family because Mark was only 59 years old, yeah. uh, still guiding full time, if I'm not mistaken, on Lake Fork. Yeah, great guy. Made some great baits over the years, and. You know, he, he was one of those guys, if you needed a bait and he had it, he'd give it to you. I know he gave me several baits over the years fishing FLW and just, just an all-around great guy. So definitely have him in your prayers, his family, and just kind of a, a, a bad deal all the way around. But just wanted to let everybody know we was thinking about the family and just a sad week for that situation. Absolutely. Yeah, say a prayer for the family for sure. <laughs> They, uh, <laughs> Drew, Drew mentioned in his giveaway tonight that there might be some jackhammers from Z-Man thrown in that, thrown in that pot, and I, it, it made me think mm. about today was my first, uh, my first day out on the water, and uh, <laughs> it was a, uh, it was. This exciting, is a good story. I've already heard it. Exciting to say the least, but I, I think you <clears> this is all true, story. by the way, y'all. Tell the whole story. I haven't, well, I haven't been out on the water yet, and uh, my friend, <laughs> he's watching tonight, Buddy Black. He's a police officer in Kings Mountain. Um, we got together, we took Buddy's boat, and uh, we went out here to our local lake over here at Moss. Y'all heard us talk about Moss plenty of times. And we went out, and the uh, lake's got a little color to it, and we thought we'd catch a few cranking, and we ended up catching some fish. But it started off kind of rough. We, uh, <laughs> we pulled up to our first spot, and we were going down the bank, and Buddy got hung once or twice, and, uh, and like, <laughs> we're both rusty. This is the first time Buddy's fished this year, too. And, I mean, he got hung one time, like, 12 foot up in the air and i'm like i'm sitting there thinking what is he doing the neck and saying i know i'm hung like 12 <laughs> foot up in the air i mean i thought i threw it's perfect cast i mean it's gonna land right anyway, 12 foot up in the there's a lamb sticking you know how those those no leaves just odd yeah. end yeah. limbs are sticking 12 foot out over the water and there's just one of them and this one had a couple little bitty branches on it and i got my crankbait <laughs> hung up it was a a, a spro rock claw, rock crawler i believe and i got it hung up and it and buddy's like oh that one wrapped buddy you're you're in trouble now that one wrapped i saw it wrap and we get over there underneath it and i'm you know, I, you know i've been jerking all the whole time and, and it's just getting worse and worse so i'm like we can't reach it and i'm like i got an idea i got a i got a uh, rod sitting here with a jackhammer on it's got 20 yep. pound fluoro said i think i can reach up there and i can hook the limb yep. and, and pull, it down, pull it down to us yeah so i pull it down and I, we still can't reach it. Like I got it, I got it stretched, and I, I, we we can't reach it. So you're going to use a twenty dollar bait to try to retrieve a ten dollar bait. Basically, yeah. But okay. I, I didn't do the All math right. before this. All right. <laughs> and well, the uh, the crankbait just, I mean, it just falls out. Like while I'm pulling it with the with the, with the jackhammer, and it falls out. Lens. I'm like, great, I got it. About that time, I go to pull my chatterbait out, and it breaks. The, the jackhammer goes in the lake, Bro. sinks. But I get my crankbait back. <laughs> yep. So I pick up my crankbait, and y'all, I Drew's been eyeing my yep. little cut. Like I got a cut right here on my lip. I get my crankbait, and you know how you always, and I've never done this in my entire life. I've hooked myself in a lot of places. I've never hooked myself in the mouth <laughs> on purpose. 
I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> How else do you hook yourself in the mouth? Not on purpose. I mean, who does that? Maybe, I mean, Fat Cat might I've do stuff like some that weird stuff, so. <laughs> so I grabbed the crankbait to bite, you know, the, the, it, the line breaks. So there's a little excess line on the, on the line yep. tie there. And I grab it with my mouth, and I go to rip, like, the knot off of it. And when I do, I guess the hook flung around, and it stuck me in the lip. <laughs> and, I, and I looked at Buddy. I said, this day just getting better and better. We hadn't caught one yet, by the way, so that made it a little worse. And uh, it hooked me, and then he looked at me and said, I got blood. He said, dude, your goatee's like red. You, like, you got a lot of blood running down your mouth. So I'm like, awesome. So I get my crankbait back tied on. About time Buddy hooks one. On a, on a DT, he's throwing a DT6. And he hooks one, and he just, you know, crankbait fishing, you just kind of lean into him. He leans into it, and his rod snaps in half. Oh, my God. I said, boy, we're rocking and rolling now, you know. And he, la he lands the fish, and uh, it's like a pound and a half spotted bass. It might be a pound and a quarter. And I said, well, you know, we got to take a picture of that fish. That's your first fish of 2021. Yep. So we took a picture of it, and we caught six more. We ended up catching seven fish out there. It was very slow. Um, but, yeah, so that's how my first day on the water back in 2020. So <laughs> I saw a meme the other day on Facebook, and it was a guy holding up a glass of bourbon, and it was like, uh, well, that was a hell of a run, boys. The last five days of 2021, let's go ahead and skip to 2022. That's how I felt yeah. today on the water. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's the only fishing story I've got tonight. Thrift, you hadn't been. Have you been out in a new boat yet? Thrift no, I'm boat? going tomorrow. Okay. Going. He, wait, he, he I was his guinea pig, so if, if, if you're dating Well, no, I was going anyway. You were just determined whether I took a rod with me. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> well, if it goes anything like my day. So I'll, I'll probably take them. a rod with me tomorrow since they caught a couple. I'll probably. Around, so. We caught seven. You ought to catch at least. But 20. yeah, I, I did pick up my new boat last Wednesday from Angler's Choice, and uh, we're gonna go test drive it tomorrow. I'm picking up mine this Friday, as a matter of fact. So we're gonna get out on the water next week with it. Uh, all right. So I know we're past. I think we're well. We're right at eight o'clock. Um, we are seven fifty-eight. Big big giveaway from Mr. Drew Gregory. Fat Cat, you got anything to add tonight, man? We can't thank y'all enough for being on the show. Yeah, this, no, awesome. this has been great, man. I, pre, I, I enjoyed the show, the interaction. I like how, you know, so much interaction from the fans. No, nah, I, mean, I just, that's good stuff, man. You got any hot fishing tips for anybody out there? Texas rig Vienna sausages. Never go wrong. When the bite's slow, you know, the Ned rig was big. It was so dumb. It's just dumb. <laughs> the Ned but rig it is catches dumb. them. You know what I mean? Texas rig Vienna sausage. That's going to be probably the number one pattern that you follow for the first event. <laughs> Of NPFL. Texas rig. Write it down. Vienna sausages. Got to be careful, though. It's going to be hard to believe, but they're actually, they're, 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 they're more, uh, what's yeah, the right word? Shank. What would, so like a Cinco is very delicate. Yep. So you have to be very delicate with the, they're <laughs> about the same consistency, a Cinco and a Vienna sausage. So. They're good for about one fish, but they catch them <laughs> every time. I like the the low sodium jalapeno if the I can jalapeno find them. ones are good you have a preference on flavor and or um well what, what, what do we call our different our a scent let's just call it scent yeah uh, the jalapeno well, since we were talking about what uh about me coming and being honest about the shooting video being fake yeah how about i wish i never would have brought up being a sausages years ago because i absolutely hate them i just thought it'd be funny to talk about them i've had this I have you, had you to, really don't like them oh they're uh, i'd rather eat dog food Really? Yeah, I'll eat potted meat. This is consistency. It's like eating a... Deviled ham. You like deviled ham? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll eat deviled ham. But yeah. I don't know. Vienna sausages, hey, shout it's out like to spam. Vienna sausages. I love y'all, but <laughs> I have a recipe for a Vienna sausage casserole. You take about 10 cans of Vienna sausages, you put them in a casserole dish, put it in a microwave for 87 minutes, you pull it out, and there you go. Feed it to the dog. I <laughs> <But> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more question we're going to hit tonight. Uh, this is a great question for all of us. Uh, let's start with Mr. Drew Gregory down here. Specific goals. This is from Derek Westfall. Derek's always on the show, um, and we appreciate that, Derek. What are your each, each of you your specific goals for 2021 yeah. season? Cool. All right. Well, I mean, I'm going to fish all three of our major tours. I'm not going to pull a complete John Cox and fish every dang tournament on the planet. You are going to fish all three. That's I'm going to fish all three. Like. How many is that? Four? But I'm not going to fish every one of all three. That's the oh, difference. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You, you guys kind of have to fish every one. You're going to cherry still, pick. We're still a working man sort of thing. I'm going to fish uh, a lot of the Hobie Bass Open Series and try to defend that Angler of the Year. Um, I know uh, Iconelli's going to fish some of those again. So, you know, he may fish enough to qualify for AOI and try to fend off a lot of the great anglers, you know, the Russ Snyders, Jody Queen, and, you know, we, we, we can catch them too. I don't think we're as deep, obviously, as the bass boat world, but those guys are, are hammers out there. Oh, so yeah. it's going to be hard to defend that on the Hobie series. And I'm also looking forward to Champlain on that, on that trail. And then fishing some KBF stuff as well. Uh, I'll be down in Kissimmee on the Kissimmee chain 
for the first event, the um, KBF Trail Series and the Tim Invitational. So I'm looking forward to that in January here. And then uh, see if I can you know, qualify for the Angler of the Year over there, fish enough events. It just takes three, by the way. Uh, you can fish more than three, but it's just your points from your best three. And then uh, BASS has six total events, and I'm going to be fishing the first ever you know, Bass Kayak Championship. We're calling it the Bass Kayak Classic, kind of locally everyone kind of calls it that. It's in conjunction with the Bassmaster Classic. Yeah. 2020, we had to fish the tournaments to qualify. I qualified at Logan Martin, so I'll be there on uh, – we'll be fishing Louisville. You guys will be on Ray Roberts, yep. is that right? right? And we'll be on Louisville. So they, they postponed so, y'all's in conjunction right. with ours in June. They did. They postponed it. So I'm going to try to go, go there. You know, people don't know this, but I was born in Texas. I was born in Fort Worth. So it'd be kind of special to me. You were born to, in Fort, Fort Worth. Worth. So Dang, it'd be special to me to win the very first. You have some experience there. The I have zero experience there. I was okay. two years old when we moved. <laughs> but uh, you know, it'd be a dream come true to win one of those. The bat, very first, you know, in conjunction with the Bass Match Classic, the very first one of those. That'd be very special. It's gonna be tough, and uh, we'll just see if I can if I can kind of pull it off, man. It's gonna oh, be. Yeah. Well, we interesting, cool. it's good stuff, dude. Interesting, yeah. Most important thing in fishing is what momentum, and you are carrying that going into 2021. So, um, after the AOI title, I'd say you got a pretty good shot of having a great year. Uh, yeah. Mike Nolan wants to know real quick, Fat Cat, before we get into our goals, um, what gap hook on that Vienna? Oh, extra wide. Uh, extra you, wide. You, you want to be E-W-G. X, E-W-G. Oh, okay. yes, sir. <laughs> All right. We just what size? Ten all. A 10 off. <laughs> hey, by uh, the way, real quick, before I finish that, I will argue with you guys out there, and you guys can tell me if you think this is true. I'm just crazy. Mm-hmm. Remember who won the very first Bassmaster Classic? I ain't got a clue. Anybody? Murray. Oh, wow, Bobby Murray. Bobby Murray. Bobby Murray. Come on, boys. I will argue, yeah. I thought, I thought it was fake. You're making up now for earlier. Huh? You're making up That's for right. earlier. There you go. Don't test my history. So, <laughs> test my history. I'll argue that whoever holds that trophy for the very first kayak, you know, classic winner, in historical context, whoever raises that trophy, it'll, our trophy will be raised on Friday, the very first day of the classic stage, because our tournament's 9th and 10th, and right. it all starts 11th, 12th, 13th. I'll argue historically, 20, 30, I don't know, 40, 50 years from now, whatever, that will be more important than whoever raises, in terms of historical significance, the classic trophy this year. Not to take away, obviously, from that angler, that bass yeah. angler, but in what the whole fishing landscape industry will look like in 40, 50 years in terms of the kayak side having their elite series, which will happen. Right. And whichever in- industry um, tournament trail gets there first, in my opinion, is going to win, have a big win. Whoever gets to an elite series of kayak anglers, they're going to they're gonna win. So I think historically that will be almost bigger, if not bigger than. 40, 50 years, I'm just praying we can make it one I more know, year. I know, I <laughs> know. <laughs> but, no, that, yeah, it's, it's going to be a big deal, a, a huge event. So. All right, um, Thrift. Goals for this year? I'm probably similar to mine, kind of same. As yeah, year. my my goals they rarely change. It's kind of similar to what Mike Nolan commented: win money and not lose money. That's <laughs> that's pretty that's much simple. my goals. That, Keep it simple. That's how I I say I've had a good year. You know, as long as I've made a decent living and keep the kids and the wife took care of and the bills paid, that's a good year. I mean, I'm fishing for a living. If I can support myself doing that, it's a good year. Yeah, and I'll, I'll keep it simple. I'm very similar to Thrift. If I can support my family and uh, do what I love, chase my dream, which we've been fortunate enough to do for quite a few years now, that is a goal. Obviously, for us to you know, make the championships, I know making the, uh, the Red Crest for Brian and the Bassmaster Classic for me is always the number one goal going into each and every season. If you do that, you've typically made a living. You've typically so, made um, a good year. Yes. Yeah, that being said, um, Ours are pretty simple, cut and dry, but we really, really want to hear what Fat Cat's goals for 2021 are. Uh, the, the first goal is to not get fired from National Professional Fishing League. That's don't, probably going to be the hardest thing. That day. Yeah. No, dude, um, make as many people laugh as possible and just uh, try to be the best brother, be the best friend, and just, just, just be better this year than what I was last year, man, and just wake up every morning and just keep it moving. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't. I could. That's just real talk. Well, you, that's I've been, good I, goals. Yeah, that's I've been around already. you enough to know. In fact, that's one of the most positive individuals you've ever met. Um, never has a bad thing to say about yeah. anybody, except when he's doing his comedy skits. Yeah, that's a little different. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you got to understand. If you get butt hurt from comedy skits and things like that, then you probably ought to go watch. I don't know, Mister yeah, Rogers. I, I, or I, I, I definitely try to make more fun of myself than I do anybody else. I never want to make anybody feel bad unless they – I'm adding those goals to mine. I'm going to steal those goals too. On top of the fishing stuff. What, make people laugh? Well, that, but be the best (laughs) father, husband. I don't make people laugh. Yeah, man. Just try to be better than what I was last year. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we have surpassed 8 o'clock. Again, thanks – big thanks to Drew and uh, and Fat Cat for 
jumping in. And today. Jeff, for Just thank you all for having me yeah, on. Thanks, thank, I really enjoyed this, man. Well, we, we, would love to, we would love we would be honored if, if you boys uh, would come back on the show sometime. No, I probably won't, but we'll I'll get, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, he's we'll gonna get, be too busy. We'll get with the sound the, straightened out. I know. I know. I think they can hear us good. It's just we got a little echo because the room and things like that. Do what? Yes. I well, asked you the other day, I said, don't you think there's going to be a bad echo in here? He said, that's what them high-dollar microphones is for. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what he said. So what do you think, Walt? Be good. It's pretty bad, isn't it, Walt? When Walt said it, it there's an echo, it's yeah. bad. He's like the nicest guy you've ever met. I mean, <laughs> he's listening right now. <laughs> Live in studio. <laughs> All right, so again, it's Mr. Our first Gregory, live audience, right? Uh, here. Sponsors are our sponsoring the giveaway tonight. <laughs> we actually lost before we're giving away like four hundred dollars worth of tackle, all kinds of cool stuff. We lost like sixty viewers. Yeah, their loss. That's their loss. That's right. <laughs> uh, question tonight. That's what is happens a, when we go over? People are set time seven eight. Huh? <clears throat> set time seven eight oh, o'clock. They yeah, start they start true. losing. That's viewers true. at eight o'clock. Well, some people's bedtime's about eight o'clock. What time do you go to bed at night, Fat Cat? Oh man, back in the day I went to bed. These days, who knows? Whenever I want. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's I don't roll. Good. Yeah. Uh, it might be nine o'clock. I mean, it are might you a, be are, one are o'clock. Are you a typically earlier than average, like eight? I'm 30, a late dude. I'm, no, no, I'm a midnight guy. I'm okay. Same way. Yeah. What about you, Drew? Well, you got a little one. You get about you five, five hours of sleep on good. Yeah, that's me. Oh yeah. I mean, sometimes I'll stay up and you know get some work done. You know, what's late for you? Late? I mean, I try to get to bed, you know, nine o'clock. Whatever, yeah, but, yeah. But he's married with I, kids, but, right? Exactly, right? Because our son goes to bed around eight. But, but yeah, because I want to get up early. Because he's gonna wake me up early, dude. You know, if you got a toddler at home, you know what I'm talking about. They oh get yeah, thrift. You know what time? Oh, yeah. is, what does your boy wake he up? He gets wild and crazy. He, you know, we get in bed he by gets up between 9, 6, 30, 30, 30, Yeah, six thirty and seven. So yeah. I want to try to start getting to bed. If I shoot yeah. for nine, it's gonna be nine thirty or ten. You know that? That's a fact. But yeah. a lot of times I'll be working later. You know. Uh, yeah. You know, out until 11, 12, just be working on stuff and got a little peace and quiet, you know, with, with him asleep. So there you go. But uh, I'm not giving away the answer. Joseph Sharp did have a, a technical question. So he doesn't get notifications. And we've had this question before, Jeff, but he doesn't get these notifications when we go live on Tuesdays at 7. So what does he have to do? He has to go in there and change something in these settings, yeah. right? He just go to his note, it'll give you options in your. If he goes back to where it says follow, okay. it'll give him different follow options. It'll be a default, don't follow. It. He'll hit it right there to get a notification. Okay. So you go into your settings and uh, under your follow settings, right? And the you part, just hit accept notifications or the turn The three them on. little dots or whatever that are three little on dots. the Let's Talk Fishing. That's how people have to explain stuff to me, Let's like by fish. shapes and things like that. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> don't get too complicated. All right, so trivia question time. No, I haven't given away the answer. No, the answer. Ernie Wallace has sent in the same answer like five times tonight. Fat Cat 87, 88. I'm glad we didn't use that question because yeah. I've already seen the that answer was like almost 25 the times. That was almost the question. <laughs> but the, the question does pertain to Mr. Fat Cat. Now, I'm going to say this again. Last time we did this, it didn't work out too well. This is a three-part question. You need, I need three <laughs> answers, this and I want them in the same forever. comment, okay? Don't throw one, because when it's pop popping through our feed, don't throw one. We don't want to have to try to find them and add them up, okay? We don't add in this studio. Y'all know better than that. We've tried that before. We didn't have a poll tonight. We apologize for no poll. Yeah, um, we, I thought we were supposed to have one every week, but for some reason we had one. Well, Jeff wasn't in the room. calling somebody out. Jeff, Jeff, Jeff wasn't in the room. Jeff has to control the polls. We can't do that. Drew was over here turning the screen off earlier. You know he can't control the poll. <laughs> hey, there's probably video evidence we could go back and review and prove that I did video. not touch the screen. He's got cameras in the walls now. He's got them in the outlets. Got them all over the place. I mean, probably got a camera off, in your microphone. Before right it went there. off, this camera had us. It had me before it went off. You would have seen me do this. We're gonna go back and I'm check. I'm telling you, go back and check. Yeah, we're Maybe gonna go I back did. and check the footage. Maybe I did. I don't know. I could have. Trust me. <laughs> I'll yeah. be honest with Jonas, you. I'm not trying right, to sound we're smart. rambling. Let's I, get on I, I know better than that. <laughs> Thrift's got a bedtime. we got to get on here. All right. The question tonight does pertain to Mr. Fat Cat. I need all three answers in one comment, not 12. And here we go. So probably the most epic, in Fat Cat's words, professional slash unprofessional <laughs> interview of all time. I need to know it was done by Fat Cat. I need to know what year, what lake, and what was the news station? What year, what lake, and the news station? The most epic, unprofessional, professional 
interview. If you haven't seen this interview, it's all over YouTube, right? Oh, it's yeah. it's on your fat. It's, oh, yeah. it's on the Fat Cat uh, YouTube channel. And uh, oh, yeah. good good yeah. just just go to uh, YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to Fat Cat's channel. Also, Mr. Drew Gregory, Hooked on Wild Waters. His YouTube channel is a is a pretty awesome channel. I for, changed it by the way to Drew Gregory Fishing. Oh, I, went, I didn't know I went, that. Well, I stopped doing that. the Hooked on Wild Waters show. I did it for five seasons. I switched it back to Drew Gregory Fishing. So everything's kind of Drew Gregory. But fishing all that content along. is over on. It's that still channel. on there. Okay. The show is still on there. If you want to go back and watch the old episodes, for sure, for sure. All right, so I'm seeing I'm seeing some individual answers, y'all. That it's a uh, again. Ooh, oh. Yeah, this is gonna be a hard one. He was the oh, old boy one. was close right there. Yeah, Smith yeah, Harden. If you was, see an answer, you call if y'all see the correct answer, you let me know. Uh, in in the oh, meantime, I see they're so close. I just seen the one you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right there. Yeah. Ooh, they're getting close. They they it's, it's Ooh, getting good. Hey, uh, wait a minute. Oh, he was close. Fat cat, text me the year, real quick. Or write, um, or write it down because I hope I'm right. Matt doesn't know. The I want to actually just. Look at the, uh, there we go, right there. I got it. He, um, we got it. There Andrew go. Alexander. There we go. All right. What's oh, the answer? Is it all in one oh, comment? Does it have to be exact? I, this is too much pressure. Look, because like, got, oh, it's got to be. I can't. I know. Tell I know what we talked about earlier. It has to. <laughs> got to be the right year. <laughs> listen, late, listen. Is, if they have the year, it's not viewers, Alexander's. Not I have exactly nothing to right. do with anything. There it is, right there. This is Matt Newman. Them. Matt Newman, Newman got it. 2018 Hartwell Fox. Matt Newman. Yeah, he's. All right, you call. Don't, it no, it? hold on. <laughs> no, no, I'm looking. No, hold on. I see some correct answers. Yeah, Levi Alligator, Levi. I'm sorry. We can't get but one winner. I know, brother. Man, it's the winner. first one on your feed, Fat Cat. Fat Cat's calling it. It's the first one on his feed. Oh, man, then it would have to be the one I just said, even though he Matt didn't Newman. say it first. Matt Newman? Yeah, man, he, he didn't say it first. Sorry, man. <laughs> Matt was the first one I read, but uh, Levi, he also said it. I don't know. Golly, so did Greg Perry. <laughs> Fat Cat, you're so did wait, John wait, 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 Williams. Wait, 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 I'm just wait, naming. <laughs> Listen, you if are... I just said your name, slide into my DMs, and I'll send y'all something. I don't know what. <laughs> I dare go show you send you four hundred dollars worth of nothing, but <laughs> but hugs. Wait, Fat Cat, all right. a shirtless the picture on the three winner. The first name is the first name. Yes, that's that the first was the one first one on your feed. Yes, that all right. I if saw... you scroll back up. Oh, uh, okay, okay, Bobby, hold on. <laughs> Thrift is over there. You're work, thinking, man. thank God you're not away in official man, major league man. fishing. It's 512, okay. 530. No, 5, 515, 510. Yeah. Can I get a rewind? Fat Cat, you know them dirty comments you get when you do something offensive oh, on YouTube? Yeah. All right, we're going to get those if you don't make this right. Well, brother, uh, okay, so Andrew Alexander was the first one that was, it said Hartwell Fox, but he said 1018 instead of 2018. Well, because he, it was a typo. Actually, a typo. We'll, oh, we'll, I, so then you give it to him. That's I like, would give it to him. <laughs> Boom! There you go, Bobby. <laughs> you know, I'm well, sure saying, biblically, exactly right. biblically Andrew, Andrew was Alexander a fisherman. Alexander is the winner. And the disciples were Wait, fishermen. So. Who's the winner? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying things. I, <laughs> I retract my bag, statement. You get a bag. I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> If Imagine what trouble. National Professional Fishing League is going to look like if I can't even pick. They're in trouble, well, guys. You're not fish, are I you? retract everything. Else. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to do. Not now. <laughs> all right. 18-2. So, Wait, no. 17-4. <laughs> Wait, how Andrew much you Alexander. get? 21 Listen, six. Stop. Here, here's what we're going to do. Andrew Alexander is the winner. Matt Newman was number two. How much does the package No, worth? well, Matt Newman, is, but he's not two in order. 400 bucks. <laughs> I would suggest maybe not doing it this way anymore. So, Andrew Alexander. Andrew <laughs> we've Alexander. Had, we've never had a problem. I'm going to solve it. In three years. Okay. I'm going to solve it. All right. Andrew Alexander is the winner. Okay. Matt Newman is also going to get a tackle pack of 400 bucks. So, we're going to have two winners. Two and winners. We're going to throw that in as well. So we can't guarantee what's going to no, be No, I'm good with it because Matt Newman was right there under him. So, yeah. yeah that, so, that, Andrew that, Alexander, Matt Newman, send us your info. You're both going to get packages. And uh, Andrew's going to get Drew's package. Matt's going to get a package from the show here. So, all good. Perfect. How about that? Perfect. Thanks, Fat Cat. Yep. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry. Very, very good job. Sorry. If Jeff just said your I name. I hooked y'all up. Y'all just don't know it. Y'all forgive me. I don't even know what names you just said. I have Because no I've heard idea. 68 names in the past 35 seconds. Yeah. So, send us the two names Jeff just said. Not everybody. Send us your shipping information, and we'll get these prize packs out to you. We got to get Fat Cat and Drew before we sign off. To sign our wall, our brand new wall. Nobody. Yes, so, so wall. we've had a bunch of guys sign the wall in the old studio. This is a different wall. Um, do we have a black marker, or can they do it with the silver, Jeff? We have a black marker. 
I don't know. Sorry. What is it like? Fourteen or fifteen degrees in here? Because my nose is not stopped. It's, it's like it's cold. It's frigid. It's frigid. It's cold. And I, I'm uh, about to get hippo. I've already we're said in that. the we're in the dungeon. What do you need? We're in the dungeon. We're in. I like the concrete. It I'd rather be block cool dungeon. Than hot. See this market doesn't. Yeah. Do you know I'm using the the silver rooms right. never work. We'll do it after the show. We're gonna get y'all to sign the <laughs> sign the wall. Uh, Jeff, you got anything to add? You've been in hiding all night. No. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, Drew, thanks again. I know Jeff just stole your seat. He probably thought you were going to black out the show at the end or something yeah. before we ended it. i got to end this thing. And, and big shout out to Jeff for you the, have to the end new it. studio. Well, I mean, i got to do oh. the button. Well, I mean, actually, he knows how to end it, so if you yeah. want. <laughs> <laughs> no, he knows we how to cut let, it off. we got to let Fat Cat sign us off. And I, I'm, i got a request. i seen somebody else make this request. Okay. We've got to end the show with the trademark Fat Cat Newton laugh. Oh, okay. Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. You sign us off. We're ready. I re- wait. Are we doing a show <coughs> next week? He's clearing his voice. Show, okay. ne- show next week I or da- no? I doubt it. Okay. I doubt it. But doubt, I, doubtful I, we have a show next week. We're going to try, but we, it's, it's doubtful as of right now. What are we doing? It ain't what you're doing. It's what i got to do. Oh. So, <laughs> Fat Cat, you want to sign us off? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Let's Fish. Let's talk. I don't know the name of this podcast. <laughs> All right, let's you fired. talk fish. Fire, fire. Hey, hey fire. Don't, don't hey, first tournament, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Bassmaster Elite Series. <laughs> All right, I'm just throwing that out there. But yes, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna black out. Take two. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk Fish with Jeff Walsh, Matt Airy, Drew Gregory's special guest, our man Brian Thrift, and none other than the favorite angler of all people and things. And I'm just. Me, Fat Cat Newton. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all next time. <laughs> Thank you for listening to Let's Talk Fish. Visit our private Facebook group to continue the conversation, post your questions, and talk with other fellow anglers at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Let's Talk Fish. Follow us on Instagram at Let's Talk Fish Official and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive content. Join us again next episode for more actionable tips, tactics, and techniques directly from the pros. And remember, when we can't go fishing, we're going to sit right here and talk fish.